What it do, what's poppin'? It's Desire, aka JKA, aka the Pretty Mother Effort, and I'm back with another what? Another huh? Another YouTube video? Duh, y'all know my intro child, quit playing with me. Anyways, we have this video brought to you by Superb Wigs. They sent me this 99J Body Wave wig, and baby, it's giving me very much body. And of course, it came with the essentials like the wig cap, elastic band, and a scrunchie. But this is the wig fresh out the pack. Do you see how shiny it is? The hairline did come pre plucked, so that's good. But the lace is already melting in with my skin, so I already know this is about to be a bomb install. This is how the inside of the cap look like. It has four combs, two on the side, one in the middle, one in the back, with an adjustable strap and an elastic band inside so it could be extra secure. The wig came with no smell, no shedding, tangle free, and this is me finger combing it straight out of the pack and it's sliding through like butter. What more could you want from a wig? Jumping straight into the prep of the wig, I used BW2 Bleach with 30 volume developer and the thickness of it is basically like cream cheese and you want to spread it like you would your bagel. You don't want to press it in too hard or too soft. You just want to glide it over the lace like I'm doing right here. I left this on for about 15 minutes then I washed it out with some regular shampoo and regular conditioner and then we got back to business. Of course we're going to be doing a ball cap method so I'm going to be using some got to be glue gel, not gorilla glue, got to be glue gel. And I just put that all around her edges then I brushed it backwards and let it dry with the blow dryer just to set it so it can stay out of the way. Once her edges are dry and set, I come in with 70% alcohol, I wipe down her forehead, then I put on the ball cap. And when I put on the ball cap, I do the little ear tab method where you cut the hole and slip the ear through. Then I come in with the got to be glue spray, about three rounds, let it dry, then we go on to the wig laying process. As the got to be spray is drying, I come in with some fit me makeup and I just apply that on the lace so it can blend better with her skin tone. Then I cut the excess cap off and I apply about an inch worth of that same makeup to the ball cap. And you don't want to do it all over the ball cap because truth be told, if you part your hair down about six inches back, the color that it is in the very front is not the same color that it is all the way in the middle of your head. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to briefly put on the wig to see if the ball cap is in the correct place. Make sure the wig is exactly where I need it to be so I can make tweaks to the ball cap if need be. Now we coming in with the holy grail of wig glue, boho active. Yes, ma'am, this glue right here put a lot of y'all on the wig game before y'all couldn't even do y'all wigs. Let's not sleep on it. But yeah, before I do that, I just wipe down the forehead again with some alcohol. Then I dot the bow hold along the hairline. Make sure it's a light coat. And when you're smoothing the glue out, make sure it's mainly on the cap and very, very slightly on the actual skin. That's the trick. I did this three times and let it dry clear between each coat before applying the wig.
as for laying the wig I mainly try to put the middle part in the middle of the head and that's what I mainly focus on then I press it in with the comb make sure everything's settled and I worry about the small stuff later Now to everyone's favorite part. I hate this part. I just use a wax stick around the hairline, then I hot comb it backwards so all of the hair could be bone straight and really nice. Then I part out the baby hairs, tie it down, and get to work. I'm not gonna lie, I can deal with the plucking. Plucking is not that bad. It's just the baby hairs that absolutely irritate me to the most because I'm so particular on how I want the baby hairs to look, so it ends up taking me forever to get it right. But it's whatever, because it still ends up looking kind of cute in the end, so. I'll, I'll take I'll take the little bit of extra work, you know. cutting a lace off you don't want to go in a straight line make it like jagged or whatever you want to do make a trapezoid um zigzags whatever as long as it's not a straight line because if it's a straight line it's gonna give off very much oh that's a wig oh that's a helmet and we don't want that we want it to be seamless and it's okay if it's not glued down in some areas you could just go back with the glue or with the freeze spray tie it down and boom you're done very simple to the baby hairs yay um i cut mine really really short because i think they look cuter when they're shorter and more natural i don't really like long baby hairs but yeah i just come in with some mousse and a little little bit of edge control then i get to swooping You can see I flat ironed the hair off camera because that's what she wanted but here we are again with the hot comb getting everything set in place now I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on the part just to make it look more realistic and it's like two maybe one two shades lighter than her so it's not that much of a difference then we're gonna come back in with the makeup that's closer to her skin tone hide up the lace a little bit make it look presentable Bada bing bada boom we're done just like that oh my gosh 
This is actually her first wig and I think it came out pretty good. I do wish I could have done better on the edges, but at this point it is what it is. I was doing that thing for like 30 minutes and it was getting on my nerves. But yeah, here's the hair. Very much body, very much moving, very much nice. If you would like to purchase this wig, a link will be left in the description along with the coupon code. Make sure you go shop and that is all that I have for you guys. Bye!